Namaste everyone and it is the morning of uh, day one of our mind detox uh, challenge. Now the reason why we're doing it is yeah we love transformation change and so forth we want to always improve or grow but it, but the actual reason why I like it it's because it is simply awareness. The way I teach awareness of the body during yoga and when you become aware of your physical body that is very healing to the emotions without directly addressing the emotions now when you are aware of your thoughts during the day that is the first step you just want to be aware of what your mind is doing during the day so basically in in a way you become an observer to your own mind your mind is you know a crazy monkey and you're just observing it um, today you can just focus on that observe it and just see what your mind is doing all day long and awareness of that is extremely powerful it's extremely empowering it's amazing um, I, I really love one question came in um, and uh, it is maybe Mary I don't know um, 002 uh, it's a, a abbreviation so I'm not sure but anyways um, I have a question Ali how can you work with negative patterns without getting stuck in a permanent healing process thanks for the video I love this question because I mentioned in the first video which you can go watch the first video if you haven't seen the first video as far as what the challenge is about um, basically I um, Basically, I was um, saying you don't want uh, you, you don't want to think that something is uh, um, innately and permanently screwed up with you, and you need to heal for years and years and years. And this is this daunting thing, and something is wrong with you. You don't want to come from that background and we all know people that are addicted to healers and um, um, just healing things just shamanic practices and it's the next healer the next stone the next you just this thing but then you talk to these people 10 years 20 years later and it's the same thing they have not moved forward at all that's when you know you're stuck I'm a person that likes I like I like change in the sense that I like dynamic movement forward. I don't come from the place that I want to change. There's nothing in you that you need to change. You first have to come from that. You're fine the way you are. And you have to also separate your, um, your soul from your persona. Because those are, those are two different things and although the soul affects the persona, you have to understand that on a soul level you're fine that will give you this peaceful calm feeling that we're here very briefly uh, very temporarily and even if we screw something up it's not a big deal it's fine it's okay keep moving forward keep letting things go you have the capacity to let things go because if you don't you're holding on to more and more baggage and when you hold on to guilt onto things that perpetuates it if you're guilty about if you've noticed if you're guilty about for example offending someone or if you're guilty about getting into a fight with your partner then it just leads to more fights it doesn't just no one drops it so you have to find it within yourself without externally someone helping you because we are our greatest help to just let things go just let things go, keep moving forward. And when you get stuck in something, let it go. The best thing you can do about it is serve serve that thing in the future. If you're guilty to your child for, for in some way you're judging yourself for not being a good parent, by being guilty, you perpetuate that behavior and you do more of that that made you feel that you're not a good parent. So let it go, drop it. You're not supposed to be perfect anyways. And in the future, just realize that you have this gift this opportunity to be amazing in the future so basically becoming aware of your mental patterns is our first step and if you want to focus on this today just focus on this today or for a few days just observing it and not trying to change it just seeing how <laughs> crazy your mind can be and um, the next step is learning to let things go just learning to let to drop it 
and we're not talking about something that deeply bothers you um, that you have to heal we're talking about letting the monkey monkey mind go letting that pattern when you get stuck in something and you're just grinding there and it's going nowhere or when you're healing one and the same thing for 30 years then you have to realize that you're not moving forward you're not shifting anything you're addicted to to being that sick person you're addicted there is an addiction there at this point to you don't want to let go of that sick person you are or that traumatized person you are but that's deeper so with the risk of confusing you because uh, this can get very um, complex uh, but at the same time it's also very simple just observe your patterns and how you know you're <laughs> how you know you're not uh, uh, getting stuck um, you know you know because if it continues being the same thing over and over for a particular amount of time you're stuck and the point is to just allow yourself to let things go those are my two greatest things i can say allow yourself to let things go because you're not supposed to be perfect and you don't have to expect perfection of yourself that's number one and the second is realizing that a lot of it comes from self-importance assuming that some you in some way have to be so perfect and you have to satisfy everybody and everybody has to like you when in reality just drop that drop that type of thinking remind yourself oh, most people really are not as critical of me or don't even a lot of them don't even care about me and all i can do here is moving forward give the best i can and serve and be loving be a loving partner or even a, a nice co-worker or, or anything like that and just um just realizing that this experience here is really not as important as the ego perceives it the ego inflates it as as if this experience right now in this lifetime right here it's it's so important to your soul in reality in reality the small details they will just all roll over and disappear and be forgotten and what matters is how joyous you are how much you serve others and how much you love yourself and others and this is all within your reach this is all within your reach so today because obviously this can become a very long video and i just want to do a quick login today observe your monkey patterns <laughs> monkey mind patterns and just observe and see how your mind is dysfunctional when it gets caught up in patterns and the next stage is to learn to let things go and keep the mind empty of self-thought like constantly thinking about yourself i personally find that to be unhealthy and um I think through the help of yoga, I don't do it. I hardly ever sit and think about myself. I never think, did I say the right thing today? Like, I just don't have that that internal uh, monologue because it it, it is a never-ending process. It is, it is a trap and you just can't get out of that, that pattern, that thinking pattern. It becomes almost a useless internal hell or internal uh, just torture so you have to learn to let uh, to let go of the things that are not serving you and if it's a repetitive pattern and it's never resolving then you're stuck that's how you know if it doesn't feel good then you're stuck if it it's if it's not changing constantly and it doesn't feel good then you're stuck in it and another thing that I will uh, try not to forget to touch up on this week in a separate video possibly is um, to observe your body and follow the cues of your body. Anything that when a thought comes in or when someone says something to you, to just have enough self-awareness to see how this feels in your body because your body is a reflection of your emotions and your emotions are connected to your higher consciousness and even your soul obviously 
So your body will give you cues as to what is right and wrong, but we're so caught up in the mind, we can't feel the body and we can't feel what's right for us, what's wrong, what's, what's serving us, what's not serving us, because we are caught up here and we're not in here, in the body, in the emotions. Um, yoga, of course, do yoga because it's the best thing ever. You drop the mind and you just, you are a body and you're more connected to your higher self. The mind can disconnect you. Uh, so I'll try to do a video on that. But for today, that's my just, I'm on my way out. And I figured I'll quickly shoot just random thoughts. I hope they're not too random. But just observe your monkey mind. Next level is to try to start letting go of certain things that you can. Start with what you can let go of. And further, further along, we'll learn to listen to the body, we'll learn to pay attention to the body. It will give you such amazing cues. The body will give you such amazing cues and intuitive cues about even decisions you have to make. If certain decisions you're not sure about in your mind and you're going over and over and over again, and should I do it, should I not, should I take this opportunity, listen to your body, the answer is there. And that's what we're learning. We're learning through yoga to be aware of the body and to become self-aware enough to see our patterns. But then this challenge is also bringing that awareness into our day. That's the beauty of it. That's all uh, for, for today. I'm going to get going and um, I'll log in tomorrow. Uh, keep asking questions because it opens up a discussion and we just keep going into it and just keep masterminding it or keep uh, keep understanding the process. Uh, really cool questions and really cool um, topics. So you can read through the comments. A lot of uh, you're saying real interesting things. I love them. I love, I love your input or uh, your ideas of what you will do. Um, love you all so much and I'm going to get going. I will see you tomorrow with another quick login. Love you.